we are going to be talking about natural harmonics and a couple other fancy harmonics like tap harmonics and another harmonic that I'm not actually sure if there's a name for, I should probably look that up, but we'll just call it the mystical harmonic. So to start off, I'm gonna show you natural harmonics, which I'm sure most of you are already familiar with, so I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on it. Essentially, they're harmonics that exist naturally. In other words, you don't have to do anything special with your thumbs uh, to get the pinch harmonic sound, anything like that. They occur naturally on the guitar neck. Natural harmonics exist on pretty much every stringed instrument. So on the guitar, you can find them just by hovering your finger over the fret that I'm going to mention. So the fifth fret, you can have these natural harmonics. And then the seventh fret. Then the 12th fret. And then there's also some natural harmonics up in this area, like the from in between the fourth and second fret. I can show you what those sound like. And really on the B and E strings, they're kind of harder to uh, make these harmonics sound out, but I'll try it anyways. Kind of that uh, Smashing Pumpkins or Stone Temple Pilots sound on this fat E string. So I really like these harmonics down here as opposed to these uh, the 5th and 7th and 12th frets just because whenever I'm playing a solo and I want to sound really cool, it doesn't really matter if these notes are necessarily in tune with the song that you're playing over. Um, and generally they can add some pizzazz to the solos that you're playing. So with that in mind, next time you're improvising, try out one of these. Everyone will look and be like, wow, that guy's awesome. All right, we're on to the next kind of harmonics, which are tap harmonics. And essentially, all you need to do is fret a note or notes and tap the fret that is exactly 12 frets away from these. So essentially, if you are on the second fret and you are fretting the D and G strings here, you're gonna wanna hit the 14th fret and you want to aim at the D and uh, G strings here. Uh, you don't necessarily want to hit all the strings at once, but inevitably you're going to. So what I do is I'll mute as much as I can with my left hand. So that way when I hit this fret, there's not a bunch of other strings ringing out and it mainly captures the tap harmonic. So I'll show you what that sounds like. So the best way to think about tap harmonics as far as the technique goes is to pretend like this fret here is a really, really hot tea kettle and you just want to tap it to make sure if it's actually hot or not. So obviously you wouldn't tap a tea kettle that's really hot like this. That would burn your finger off. <laughs> so what you want to do is just give it a quick tap. Like, ow. Yeah, that's hot. Ooh, yeah, that's hot. That's it. So as you can see there, you can tap on any string as long as there's at least 12 frets in between the note on the neck that you're fretting and the fret that you're tapping up here. 
and you can use any string like I said here's on the thick E string all the way up to the high E string As you can hear, it's a little harder to get these uh, extreme strings. I usually stick to the A, D, G, and B strings, but you can try all of them and see which ones you like the best. And the cool thing about tap harmonics is you don't necessarily have to have 12 frets in between if you just wanna highlight certain notes of a chord. So let's take a regular G chord here. And let's say I wanna highlight these, uh, the B and E string. So I'm gonna tap on the 15th fret, since that is 12 frets above the third fret. See how you can get that pretty cool effect? So they can be a really cool, almost like pedal steel sound. So experiment with tap harmonics. Remember it's just tapping a hot tea kettle pot 12 frets above where your left hand is fretting. The mysterious mystical harmonic. This takes a little bit of finger strength, but once you get it down, it is super fun and addicting to play. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do hammer on and pull off on this open string of the D. So it's the second fret of the D string pulling off to open, uh, kind of like the Stevie Ray Vaughan or, or Jimi Hendrix style uh, hammer and pull off, just like this. So get that down first if, you, if you're not uh, super comfortable with that. And once you have this down, you wanna hover your pinky just over the D string and rake it down the string towards the neck. So you wanna start kind of near the bridge and very lightly rest your pinky along the string as you're performing this hammer-on pull-off technique. Let me show you what it sounds like. So there you have it, a few more harmonic tricks for you to have in your pocket. And really the most important thing you can do with these lessons, uh, these artificial and natural harmonics, is find ways to put them into your playing. Write songs with solos using these harmonics in a musical way instead of just, because once you have full command of sounds like these, it'll totally differentiate you from other guitar players who may not know these tricks. And it'll really spark some cool creative ideas as well. Thank you.